everyone, so today's video is going to be a drugstore video because I'm going to try and start to do kind of drugstore product related videos on a Monday, so that will kind of be our Monday theme. But I've got three foundations that I wanted to talk to you about today and my kind of opinions on them, so little mini reviews and just a general kind of chit chat about drugstore foundations really. But the first one I'm going to talk about is actually my least favourite and this is the MUA Undress Your Skin Foundation. Now a lot of people really like this, it had really good reviews. Um, the first review I watched about it was Miss Budget Beauties where she said she really loved it so I picked it up and I really don't like this. My problem with this is that I've got very oily skin but it makes my skin look really dry. The tiniest patch of dryness this foundation will just cling to and it really really enhances it and just makes it look even worse in my opinion so I'm really disappointed by that. It wasn't at all what um, I was expecting it to be because they describe it as covers imperfections and blemishes whilst maintaining your skin's natural glow with light diffusing particles of shimmer that creates a raid, an instant radiance. It doesn't do that, it's not very radiant, it's not very glowy, it kind of makes your skin look dry and the shade selection is very poor because they only have three shades so it comes in kind of like a light, a medium and a dark. This is beige which is the medium one which is not the greatest match for me because it's too light but I um, felt like the shade up from this was too orange. So the shade wasn't great and the shimmer particles in it are very, very noticeable, not in a way that kind of just gives a gentle luminosity. It just looks like shimmer and it just didn't sit nicely on my skin at all. I was really, really surprised because the texture of it's quite thin and you feel like it's going to be nice but then you rub it in and it just doesn't give a nice finish at all and that's what kind of sells me with foundations is the finish. I'll show you kind of what the texture of it looks like here but it just kind of is a nothingness texture and you rub it in and it just doesn't sit nicely. It sort of just sits on top of the skin and doesn't create a kind of lovely sheen or anything. Very kind of mediocre product. It's £5. I actually got it on offer when it was £2. So I can't really complain for that sort of price. You know, you're not expecting miracles, but I still was quite disappointed. The packaging's not amazing and the fact that they marked it as an illuminating foundation, I just don't understand because it's very drying in my opinion and I just didn't get on with it. Then the next foundation is one that I really love and I have got a soft spot for Seventeen Makeup because I love so many of their products and I think that they're so affordable but a brand that is often so overlooked. So this is their Stay Time foundation which they claim to have up to 24 hours wear. And this is what it looks like. Kind of a very benefit-esque packaging which I don't mind. Um, and then the colour I've got is Honey, it has an SPF of 20 and it's full coverage. And they say that it's time, the time that your makeup has staying power. This full coverage foundation gives a flawless smooth skin finish that lasts and lasts. Foundation that stays put for 24 hours, it's time, stay time. So they kind of claim that it'll stay on your face for 24 hours. I can't say that I've found that because I've never kind of actively seeked for my foundation to stay on for that long. It always comes off after about 12, but very, very nice product. It's around six pounds. It's full coverage, but it's not cakey. It's got a beautiful finish. It's kind of quite a luminous finish, but it's not shiny. It's just luminous in the places where you want it to be, so kind of cheekbone area and that kind of thing. And it covers everything. You don't need to go ahead and put more concealer on, but it still looks like skin. It isn't cakey, and it just sits on the skin beautifully. The packaging's cute, because you just kind of twist the top like this and press it down, really sweet, really different, and I really, really think that if you're looking for a kind of Revlon Colourstay type of product, this is much better because it has a much nicer finish, and as I said, I'm all about the finish when it comes to foundation. And then my last one is by Avon, and I know Avon's not strictly a drugstore brand because you have to buy it online, but it's drugstore prices, so I'm going to include it. And this is their new Lux foundation, which is basically a kind of higher-end foundation, but it's not high-end because it's only £10. And this is their Silken foundation, it has an SPF of 20. And I can't find kind of the whole description of this, but basically it's a very kind of beautiful, luminizing foundation. The packaging of this is amazing. It doesn't look like Avon at all. It looks kind of like YSL packaging. Glass bottle, beautiful gold lid, and it comes with this kind of pump, which is always fantastic so you don't get too much product waste. And it's got quite a nice finish. I'm wearing it today. It's got a really kind of luminous, pretty finish, but it's not too luminous. The coverage, I'd say, is kind of light to medium. You can build it up. I applied it today with my hands and I really like wearing it with my hands, but it works nice with kind of a stippling brush as well. It's very natural. The colour I've got is 
um, beige linen, which is a nice match when I'm paler. I don't think I could get away with this colour when I'm wearing fake tan, but when I'm not wearing fake tan, this is lovely. And if I had to pick kind of my favourite out of all of these, I would lean towards this because it is very, very pretty. But I've got to say that the 17 one is a great, great, easy to get hold of drugstore one that you'll find very easily. The Avon one's just something a little bit different that if you want something nice for kind of Christmas season, it's very, very pretty and it's nice for cold weather because it's kind of quite um, beautifying and it makes your skin look really pretty and you don't have to worry about your skin looking a bit dry or a bit kind of dull. It really makes your complexion look beautiful and the coverage of it is pretty nice as well. As I said, I'm wearing it today. I have got a little bit of concealer on my chin because I've got some blemishes and I really, really like it. So that's kind of my little drugstore foundation chit chat comparison, whatever you want to call it. But I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to give me any recommendations that you want me to do for other drugstore related um, videos. Maybe I'll do kind of like drugstore brushes or something like that. I don't know. Leave in the comments below what you'd like me to do um, in terms of this. And I'll try and do them on a Monday because I know a lot of you really like drugstore products. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, don't, forgive, don't forget to give the video a big, big thumbs up. And I will see you again in my next video.